Hello and welcome to Studio Code. Today we are going to discuss one of the topics which is not technical as our usual videos, but this is one of the topics that is requested a lot and I had also been planning to record on this topic for a very long time. And the topic is books for system design. I know that I am not someone who is uh, very interested to learn from videos or blog posts because I get bored very easily, but books are something that I tend to follow through and finish reading complete books and i can understand that some of you might have been looking for such books where you know the whole concept of system design comes from or maybe you are someone who doesn't prefer watching 30 minutes 40 minutes videos and rather you prefer reading a book before like during your lunch time or before going to bed so that's why i am going to refer the books that i have uh, studied for improving on system design that have been suggested to me uh, by my colleagues and seniors and also some books that i just uh, you know came across i read them i found the reviews to be good and i learned a great deal from them so let's get started the first book is i think uh, all of you might already know about this book it's called designing data intensive applications by martin kleppman details are linked in the description this is one of the greatest books that i came across it took me a really long time to finish it it took me about 6 to 8 months to completely read it from cover to cover because i was reading it then i was discussing it with my peers i was looking for examples and trying to connect it with my daily uh, jo- or daily work that i do uh, and it has enhanced the understanding a lot it has given me an intuition into building systems that why certain decisions are made or why some companies have decided to go certain way of choosing no sequel or choosing sequel you know design decisions like that so this is a really good book especially if you are just starting you are just graduated from college or you have only one or two years of experience this is a good book to start with i definitely recommend this book even if you are not preparing for system design interviews in general if you want to shape up as a good software engineer this is a must read next is a book which is focused specifically on interviews it's called system design interviews and insiders approach by the uh, the author alex uh, zu xu i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce his name or her name but yeah this is also a good book i went through the book i didn't uh, read all the case studies completely but i did read the framework or uh, the steps uh, uh, the author has described in order to crack any question like uh, they have given a framework like you have to understand the requirements do some calculations estimations and then wrap up and ask questions so it's it's a detailed framework uh, that is going to help you a lot to approach a system design problem whenever you go for interviews and then there is a list of case studies like how to build a news feed or instagram feed or messengers etc so you can go through those case studies also for your uh, for the practicing purposes so if you're just uh, you know going for a system design interview and you have let's say a month left or two months left you can go to this book refer it i am i'm sure it will help you a great deal next book is by authors called saurabh and nilanjali shrivastav it's called solutions architect handbook this is a book which is not completely about system design and it is actually targeted for people who are uh, moving towards architect uh, role in their career path maybe they are 5 to 10 years experience and then they are you know trying to become better at architecting solutions but some chapters of this book like reliability considerations performance considerations scalability considerations touch on very important fundamental concepts of systems and the problems of systems and how to solve them so i think you can refer those particular chapters or sections for enhancing your understanding about those topics other than that if you are fairly experienced software engineer let's say you are 6 to 7 years of experienced engineer then definitely i would recommend this book if you are looking forward to proceed in the path of becoming a solutions architect for example i started reading this book recently uh, i hope i can finish it over this year but uh, till now i am finding it to be really useful uh, because it gives me insights about how things work uh, at my job and how uh, it gives me an a direction that how i can move forward towards becoming an architect this book might not help you directly in any of the system design interviews but it is definitely going to help you in building the intuition of systems and the problem about systems and what are the different factors that have to be considered when you work on a higher level so i would say that do give it a try next book is called fundamentals of software architecture by mark richards again this whole book uh, i would not recommend reading this whole book if your focus is interviews or if you're looking for 
uh, you know preparation in a short amount of time but again i think section section 3 or section 2 of this book focuses on different architectural styles like layered architecture or service based architecture or event based architecture which again is going to be very useful when you have to implement and work uh, in these architectures at your job so i would recommend focusing on that section it also covers foundational concepts like latency topology networks failures etc so overall it's a good book for someone who is little experience let's say 2 uh, to 3 years experience maybe if you're just starting out i won't recommend if you're just if you're a fresher or if you're just starting out but you have if you have some experience then do give it a try last but not the least there's a book on operating systems called three easy pieces by andrea and renzi i know i know this is not a system design book instead it's an operating systems book but believe me i have referred this book in order to finish uh, one of my subjects in masters it's called graduate operating systems but it is sort of advanced operating systems this book will help you develop design mindset it it talks about concepts like concurrency file systems shared file systems shared memory etc and that actually helps you to understand that how inside systems different uh, uh, concepts like caching or uh, sharing or using multiple resources or concurrency all those are implemented and then you can build upon th- those concepts and have an intuition of what happens when those same concepts are applied to a distributed system or to different machines this i would recommend this book uh, for you as a computer science fundamental because i am pretty sure you would have read os at some point of Uh, uh, in your career or in call or in your college but if you go through this book it is really going to solidify your understanding about operating systems and how systems internally work which is a great uh, way to learn about systems and you know grow your uh, system design muscle so these are the five books that i recommend which will definitely help you to improve your understanding of system design it will help you give a direction uh these books will help you give a direction uh, on how to prepare for interviews and how to uh, develop your design skills but having said that this is not all these books are not all because again system design is not something which is an academic topic it is something which you learn on the job you learn the concepts and then you apply it by by building systems when you are working so i would also recommend that if you're very keen on becoming a system design expert then uh, do have a look out like do keep checking out different blogs by dif- the companies like netflix and uber's engineering blogs uh, and other uh, you know tech heavy companies they all have their own, own engineering blogs pick any company which you're interested in if you're interested in their architecture for example you're interested in payments then pick a company which is you know centralized on tech which uh, is developed for payments and then follow through their blogs and then there are generic blogs like high scalability uh, etc or dzone you can refer those as well for system design knowledge but as for books these are the ones now system design or any design or any skill in computer science for that matter is not something which can be acquired within 2 years and then you're done with that you know that th- that is not the case you have to commit to consistent learning and you have to keep learning over the years so then uh, what would happen like okay you know that there is a starting point with these books but then what would you do afterwards so here is what you would do afterwards once you uh, have basic understanding of foundational principles of system design you can pick and choose what domain you want to be an expert at do you want to be an expert at microservices or uh heavy uh, data systems or big data or maybe database internals when you decide that then there are different books for these topics as well and then slowly you will get an idea that which direction you have to go to and what kind of books you have to refer however if you have any request for any particular topics books do let me know in comments and i'll try to respond to that so that was i hope the short video on books on system design do let me know what you think about this video do let me know what you think about these books uh, you don't have to purchase hard copy per se you will get uh, pdfs for most of these books and if you uh, if you're interested you can take one of the subscriptions like oreilly or something in which you will get all of these books and some books maybe you can purchase these books are not that expensive also uh, if you read these books and if you have any reviews or any discussion or anything do let me know join the slack channel for community discussion till then take care see you in the next video Thank you.